and you incarcerate them for no offense. And then the minister turns up ahead of the national youth day celebrations and tell Ugandans that on the national youth day, the president is going to address the nation about those imprisoned young people. And now that the day was celebrated and the ceremonies are over. I want to ask Mr. Balam, maybe if any one of you had Mr. Museveni saying anything about our detained young people, please inform me. But according to me, I've checked everywhere, I've listened to Mr. Museveni's speech over and over. I don't hear him mentioning anything to do with our detained young people. So now I want to challenge Balam to come out and tell us, he told the parliament, and he was answering back my question, the question I had raised on behalf of those people who are detained. And he told the parliament that come Monday, the first of, it was first of August, mm -hmm. the president was going to address the nation about those imprisoned young people. Those people are being held in the military detentions the young people who are being paladin, paladin for no reason in the military, in the court martial. So, Mr. Balam, you raise I have to resign. All come clean about this matter. It is you who started it. He started this talk. I don't want to believe that Balam, when he joined government, he chose to use our suffering younger people as a tool of politicking. That he wants to make news and he comes to parliament and makes statements about suffering Ugandans. So this is his time to come clean. Let him come out and tell us, now that the president has not told us anything about the detained young people, what has Balam got to to tell us, he should come out and tell Ugandans what next. Because in civilized countries, when you say such things and they don't happen, you resign. You say, you see, or you come out and apologize. At least you come out and apologize because, you know, we waited. He made some of us listen to Museveni when we had no intention of doing so. You know, we are thinking, we listen, thinking that the man was going to, to, to address us on, on why he's causing the incarceration of young people at such a prime. You know, somebody was thinking, you know, why you food in, in, in prison? It is so sad. And I want to appeal to the officers who sit on, on the court marshal. Really, it is an abuse that you allow somebody for political reasons to abuse the court marshal. We have heard of people who have gone, like the people who went to, to search that actually was home. They planted the exhibits on him. And there is evidence that these exhibits were just planted on him, and then the next day he was made to appear before the court martial. Then the other day, Balaam, because he was fooling the parliament around so that we could listen to him, he made a very big promise in the name of the president of Uganda. At least Mr. Museven, although he's in that office illegally, but he should spare the, the dignity of that office. The dignity of that office should be preserved. When they say that the president is going to address the nation about this, it must happen. But he never talked about that matter, even in the periphery. So, I'm calling about on Balam to do two honorable things. One, either to apologize or resign. Because he told us that on Monday, 1st of August, Mr. Seven was going to address the nation on the issues to do with the imprisoned, the detained young people. And they are in dozens. They are younger families are suffering. We don't know why they are not being taken to civil courts like any other Ugandans to be tried. So if any Mr. Kaino Tafiri, these are some of the abuses we are talking about. For somebody to plant exhibits on you and take you to court martial as if you are an offender before 
who should appear before the court martial when in actual fact these are innocent Ugandans who have done nothing but you know government is using the army to harass Ugandans and lastly if you visit my constituency you will find that 300 homes were destroyed by UPDF the over involvement of UPDF in the police in the country is also worrying we don't know you know the army should, is supposed to deal with the enemies of this country. We have a police force which should be used to enforce laws. But we find our army everywhere, including at funerals, doing musidike work. Before Museveni's time, we had a, 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 a local police force called the administra uh, local administration police. Baganda Gababa Itaba Musidike. This would be responsible for crowd control during functions, you know, enforcement of simple regulations, urban authority rules and regulations, you know, sub count, uh, local administration laws and the, and, 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 and the regulations. They were called the BAM CDK. That force was merged with the police force. But what you find in Uganda today is that even in that is today, such work is now being done by UPDF. You find the people with AK-47 at funerals, guarding the cars. At weddings, a UPDF officer at, at a wedding, you know, making sure that those people are shared, who are, you know, people who are being served the food, don't, don't fight for food, and you, know, you find UPDF there. The army is being abused. In the past, the people would say that of all the things Mr. Museven has failed to do, at least he has been able to professionalize the army. But now the army has been decreased to just a, a small militia force, which you find everywhere, everywhere, at funerals, at weddings, you know. This is so sad. Armies are supposed to deal with enemies of the state. When you take the, a national army to enforce laws, you are in essence saying that the people in that country have become the enemies of the state. Chechitegeza, wokuwa tejeri ya guanga. Noli gamba ligende li kore mili mudia police. Ligende yoku vialo. Likuata bata zimbia kutandalo. Limenyama yumba gaba tuweba gamba bata zimbia sima ni kuwewe. Nekumbaga, <laughs> Kakati je batuala abana bafa abata yena misango je baziza je baba tuala mukoti ama je mbabu zamu kufisa abami usize bitoji basebo ngamutu dao mukoti ama je mwemungu lida mchanga baba simbi dewa abana bana abata yena je wakoze ngana mwemutu dao bafande bajeno nenyota za mwe mutu denti mungu lidi za abana abata yena musango goba lina kula vika maso kamu UPDF li mwaba ama je abasoma Singa baba je mama je nga gali ya gamini na alivo oze zanti wakuta soma uwe mbubadaza. Nima na vasaji ya wanama je neba baloya. Bote bachila manti wako ze sebo abubi. Kura mbo padu mbubi mbubi zima. Odilo jomu. Jino wa msanga ya mbati. Akasati ya kamiufu. Nomu simba mbubi ya mbubi.